Katie. Hello everybody. We are very excited to talk to you all on Friday, but we are going to have a video that we're going to send out to you all. As we know, we can't come in at the moment into the classroom, so we'll be making them phone calls. And in this video, you'll be able to see um, what normal day-to-day -day life is, like for all of the children in year two, in grasshoppers and in team beetles. And we'll do a little tour around the classroom. So the first thing that we are going to talk about is assessment. Of course, assessment is so key um, in these early years of your children's development. And we do assessment throughout the year. So the first thing we're going to talk about is assessment. And of course, assessment is so key in these early ages of your child's development and assessment is ongoing throughout the year. The assessment that we have recently done with your children is of course um, the phonics screening and we were so proud of the children. They worked so mm -hmm. hard leading up to it and they all did such a fantastic yeah. job. It's so clear they've made so much progress already mm -hmm. since they've joined us in year two and it was amazing to see them all having a chance to show what they've learned. When we have the one-on-one -on -one phone um, parent confrontations on Friday, we can talk a little bit more about your child in particular and in terms of how well um, they've done. But overall, we're just so proud of them. They've done really, really well. Yeah, and assessment is obviously an ongoing process. So every lesson, every day, we're constantly looking at how the children are getting on, what we might need to adapt, what we need to focus on tomorrow, what we can do to challenge them. Going off the back of all of that assessment, um, we've been thinking about what comes next for year two and what we're going to do um, in the rest of this autumn term. So, so far we've been recapping a lot of the year one curriculum and starting to think about some of the year two objectives and we'll talk a little bit more about that towards the end of this video. Um, but our next steps as a year group, coming off of our assessment, is a big focus in maths on addition and subtraction, really understanding addition and subtraction and moving on to those quite challenging year two objectives. Um, we're also in English going to be thinking lots about our writing and sentence structure and how we can make sure that our work makes sense. And, and, and we're also at the moment having a really, really big focus on presentation and handwriting in year two so that yes. we can create beautiful work that we're really proud of yeah. and proud to show it off. So we're going to be doing lots of things around that and we'd love your support with that at home as well. We just wanted to voice that of course we are very much aware that the world looks very different for every family across the world at the minute. And just to give you a bit of reassurance that we are definitely implementing this into the classroom and making sure that the children feel safe and happy to come to school and they are contained and they feel that they can share any concerns. So we do a lot of circle time, PHSE, um, they have extra afternoon play, which we think is so important yeah. um, for them because, of course, um, the layout of the classroom is a little bit different, so they might have to be sitting for a little bit longer than they're used to. So that afternoon play is really important for them just to have some movement and mm -hmm. a breather outside of the classroom. So when they come back in, they're refocused and ready to continue their learning. We also have a worry box in class, which the child can write any concerns or any feelings or any thoughts that they might want to share. And then only myself and Sophie will read them and then have that discussion one-on-one -on -one with your children. We also, this week, have been making a kindness tree. So we've been doing a lot about how we can be more kind to each other. And we've definitely got a team spirit across the year group in year two and how we can support each other and be more kind and work as a team. Mm. Yeah. Yes. Um, during our phone calls with you, we might refer you to some resources and things that you can use mm. to help your child. And we'll be putting all of those on the Google Classroom on Friday for you to have a look at. So there'll be a couple of things to support with spelling, particularly the year two tricky words, which children need to learn really, really well. Yes. Um, and it's never too early to start practicing those and they'll be popping up in our spelling tests as well. Mm -hmm. And also um, some key maths facts for them to learn. And we hope by the end of year two that the children will have all of their addition and subtraction facts up to 20 and also mm -hmm. the two, five, 10 and three times tables really clear so they can say them straight away if you ask them. That's obviously an ongoing process and that's something that we're aiming for by the end of year two, but little and often is best, lots of little practice and little games. 
Also, don't forget to continue reading every day. Oh, yes, of course. And bringing your books back on a Monday and a Friday so that we can swap them over. Yes. And getting onto Reading Eggs and Reading Express as well so that you can be accessing that amazing resource. For yes, definitely do get in touch if you have any problems with those. And I've been really impressed. I've seen how many hours everybody's been on Reading Eggs. Keep it up. I think it's such an amazing resource. And I've seen the children... Just their confidence in reading has just grown so much. So definitely, as Sophie said, little and often. They've had a fabulous start mm. to year two. We have they had have. such a good time getting yeah. to know them and welcoming them into their new year group. Yeah. And it's been so lovely to get to know all of the children. And we're really looking forward to talking to you more about individual children and their strengths. Yes. So um, now we're going to show you around our classrooms and talk to you a little bit more about the learning that we've been doing so far in year two yes definitely so we are in team beetles classroom and in front of us here is the dojos for the class so this is one of the strategies that we use at primrose hill um, as a reward for the children that are doing the right thing absolutely love it because that all adds up to then go into our golden time and our golden time of course is them exploring through play and really having the time to be with their friends um, and that social element. And then across Primrose Hill, we've also got our warning system, our behaviour warning system. So the first one is a verbal warning. They're on Superstar. And then the second one is a warning of saying, you know, make sure you're doing the right thing. And then the third one is sadly a time out. But no one in Team Beatles <laughs> goes on time outs because they're all fantastic. So, and then we've also got our bunk beds. Um, which at the moment, due to the circumstances, we're not allowed to use at the moment, but they do absolutely love it because we have recently set up a way for them to come into class and to tick their name off on the tick sheet and take their own book. So, okay, and over here is our working walls. Our working walls is exactly that. It's continuously working and changing and they're for the children and they are the children's work. So we have loads of reminders and resources up on the wall for them to refer to, which is fantastic. And they're so good at it now. They will look at the 100 square if they get a little bit stuck. And they will also come and refer to some of the learning we have been doing. So in year two, when we first came back in September, we were just resolidating a lot of the things they learned in year one to make sure that they really had that base before we moved into year two curriculum maths work. So we've been doing a lot on place value. We've been doing a lot of addition and subtraction. We've been doing a lot with the hundred square and seeing the relations between numbers and jumping. Um, and recently, this week, we've now been doing the inverse to subtraction and addition, which I absolutely love. And they're getting it so well, we're so impressed with them. So that is the maths rule, and then the English rule is very similar, it's their work, and Sophie will talk a little bit more about what we're doing across year two in our English subjects. And in topic, we are doing the Great Fire of London, which they're very excited about, and as you can see, we have been making some baked goods to go into our role play area, which will be, of course, the bakery on Pudding Lane, where the fire started. And as you can see, they're very colourful and lovely, so they will be in our role play area. And then this is just the back of the classroom. In the corner, we have got our reading corner and also a lot of the children's, um, they have their individual trays, again, developing their independence to know to come in, get their own individual packs, ready to start their learning in the morning. Okay, also across in year two, we also have loads of floor books for our RE days, for PHSE, and also for our topics. So this is our PHSE book, and we have been doing lots of different very exciting stuff. So this is when we was mixing paint for secondary colours. Um, this is talking about how we can promote mental and physical health because of course they're both just as important as each other i think a lot of the time we talk just about physical health but mental health especially under the circumstances now is just as important um so we've been doing a lot of work on that how we're feeling inside and how we're feeling outside and being able to vocalize that 
We've also been learning about medicines and what is safe and what is unsafe medicines. And then we did a little bit about Black History Month and we were learning all about rose. Hi, welcome to Grasshopper's Classroom. So I'm just going to give you a little tour around and talk to you about some of the things that we've been learning about. So this is our English wall and this shows all of our learning that we've been doing in English and we build it up over time. So it, as Crystal mentioned in her classroom, these are all working walls. So they're things that the children use constantly to really help them with their learning all through the day during jobs. So we've got all of our phonics sounds up here and then here we've got some examples of us doing drama when we were learning all about the Great Fire of London, ready to write our newspaper reports last week, which were amazing. And us doing some research as well. And we've also over here got our presentation guidelines. As we've said, we've been talking lots about presentation in year two at the moment. And on the side over there, we've got our list of magic. And our list of magic is what we call all of the grammar and words we need to know to be amazing year two writers. So, so far, we've been learning all about different types of words. So verbs, nouns, adjectives, adverbs, and also thinking about tense, like past and present tense and how we can change words and what those mean. This is our book corner. Obviously it's a little bit different at the moment. Normally we would have children in there all the time during job time, engaging with the books and having an opportunity to read. We can't have free flow in quite the same way in our book corner at the moment. Um, but we are allowed to take books home from the book corner and your children will have been bringing home books. As you can see, ours is jungle themed. So we have our elephant and all of our lovely leaves that we've created together and the children are really proud of this space and they really love having it in their classroom. And this is our topic board. So at the moment this time we've been doing London. So before the half term we were learning all about London in the present. So we're thinking about the geography of London and Camden, our local area. Learning all about the landmarks. And then we did an amazing project, which I'm sure you heard about, all about street art in Camden, which ended with us designing our own street art and putting it out on the playground to promote healthy eating, which is really fun. And if you go on the website, you can see some pictures of that on there. This half term, we've been thinking about London in the past, and particularly the Great Fire of London. So you can see our journey on the board. We started thinking about London in the past, about what paintings could tell us about the Great Fire of London and we were historians doing research to find out more and we've been linking this to our science as well, learning all about different materials and the properties of different materials because we're going to be creating our own miniature Great Fire of London in the playground and we're going to need to know what materials to build our houses out of. And this is our bakery in Grasshoppers, so we called it Hopper's Bakery and we've got all of our little bits and bobs down here and the children really enjoy role playing the bakery and getting on together in there and it's a really lovely space for them to practice those social interactions and that talk with each other obviously linked to the great fire of them and here is our tree of kindness that we've created for anti-bullying week so we all thought about lots of different ways that we can be kind to each other to really promote that mental health and well-being We've put it all together as a beautiful tree and we're going to be adding to it with examples of when children have been kind to really celebrate all of that mental health and well-being that we've been talking about so much. So it's been so lovely to have a chance to share everything with you and all the amazing learning that the children have been doing and we hope that you guys have a lovely day at home on Friday and we look forward to talking to you on the phone and we will see you all back in class next week.